<laughs> but, this is what happens beforehand. I know it goes on our on our demo and stuff, but uh, a lot of things you can't ever hear that we say either. So, but okay. But um, this is old camera. And this is not a spring chicken today. We're going to be talking about. Well, actually, we got some really big news for you. I mean, everybody knows that every year we do. Uh, sort of a homage to the old-fashioned horror pictures with the bikinis on her. This year we've done something totally different. Totally. If you knew the work that was put into this thing, God. Our Halloween, is, is it our Halloween special? It's our Halloween special. Our Halloween special. special just for you. Just for you. And this year, it's based upon a Yahoo short story written specifically about the bikini are and how she came about. Sort of the mythical bikini are how she came about. But... <laughs> um, you know, we, we actually, we really would like the people that, 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 that you know, actually, the guy that wrote it, which, I wonder who that would be, you know, he would really appreciate you going over and like, you know, liking his thing, writing comments about it, doing stuff, because it actually is doing fairly decent. You know, it's, it, it is a good, I haven't seen it! Well, no, she didn't see it. She, she, she didn't see anything that gets, actually, she sees very little of what's written. We well, that's why the bikinis are collection. <laughs> yeah, so. Because <laughs> I haven't seen it. <laughs> but um, this is, in reality, you're getting to see something. We've been telling people for uh, over on Facebook, if you, you know, if you go over to the Bikini Czar's page or Monty Bubbles page, you'll basically get to see, you know, what we've been talking about. It is, it is totally unique. I mean, first of all, it is totally composed of pictures. Mm -hmm. The whole picture, it is... It is a synopsis of what the feature film is going to be her first actual feature film as the bikinis are. Mm -hmm. A surface sand piece with lots of guitar music, lots of girls in swimsuits. And we're going to talk about it. Here's a good one. Because it's set, it starts out 50 years ago, the suits are smaller. And you say, <laughs> the suits are smaller? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're small to the point that you can't wear them on the beaches today in Southern California. Because 50 years ago, when the Republicans were in charge, we had a more liberal state than you do. You sound like you're making a political statement. No, it's just got to do with the fact that the more the more we swing left, the more conservative everything becomes. Mm -hmm. You'll see a lot more conservative movies being made and stuff. But you imagine having to go back to 1961 to get get oh, the suits that California are famous for. God. Yeah, you get to see the big bucks and girls that they used to inhabit all the surfing competitions, wearing the tiny little suits that they were famous for, down in floss bikinis. Oh, maybe that's what's happening today, is we're trying to get the proportions right. Yeah. <laughs> You're going, what? He knows what I'm talking about. You see these big women, like 180 pounds, coming in looking for the extra small swimsuit. Yeah, but... Because uh, it stretches. But the... Uh, you're also going to get to see some. She actually, she, she's seen. She's actually seen it. We're actually carrying it around on our Android devices now to show people. Because it is a hell of a big push. Because it is, it is the most complicated piece of stuff that we have done so far as far as effects. Because um, you know, it, it's not a real simple task to take like six thousand pictures and make it into a, a thing, and then. We also had to go back and rework it because, as is inevitable, we do have swimsuit malfunctions when you're dancing in those days. Mm -hmm. They, uh, uh, I mean, uh, like I said, I actually had the privilege of dancing and actually performing surf and sand pictures. We're talking about that's where they pictures. started double stick tape, probably. That's where, okay, uh, um, the, mm -hmm. because we used to hang around. We, you know, we'd sit there and you know there'd be guys that'd be doing their stuff and shaking everything, and they'd be sitting there waiting. And then we, I mean, I had a set of twins who basically, basically today, they condemn people for wearing small suits. And the twins are wearing bottoms that are about two inches big. Mm -hmm. And we're sitting there, we know those bottoms are going to come off. And then we found out, you know, like somebody, hey, God, you know, one of the girls, hey, guys, you know that they're, they're, they're gluing those things to their asses. They said, they're doing what? Yeah. He said, they're, they're using the same stuff that the, the people over at the Miss America pageant using their swimsuits so they don't move when they're walking. And then, oh, oh Christ. I mean, so that well, destroyed all of these guys' images of these girls. So. But the other part is I don't really like to use double stick tape because what happens is if you move that much with double stick tape, then you can tell that there's double stick tape being uh, used because it doesn't move like it, the rest uh, of the material. Stacy Kibler the other night at an event with George Hunt, what happens? The suit moved, the, the uh, evening gown moved, the tape didn't move, so she's walking around with the tape showing on her chest. 
Yeah, which was not attractive. But no, no. And, and, and you know they got some unique photos, didn't they? Yeah, have unique photos, but this is total 1960s surf and sand that you're going to be seeing. It's going to be like a, a cheap ass Roger Corman picture, you know. You know, with a Roger Corman type producer in the picture, but um, well, actually, you could you can consider it like paranormal. Paranormal, yeah. Basically, we're mm -hmm. going to talk and see what it amounts to. Whatever you got in your pocket is what the movie's going to cost. But um, it is. Uh, we've got uh, we've got a haunting. It, we basically, you know, our the guy that handles our music, which is Prince Wilhelm. You know, has known. You know, I don't know. People keep calling him Prince. He really hates to be called Prince. Hey, Prince. It's just like they're calling his dog. You know, it, it is. You call him Crown Prince or Wilhelm, but not Prince. You know, they won't call him Wilhelm. You know, they call him Prince. Here, Prince. Here, Prince. So, but he did. He created the musical score and the ambiance for it, and really got a really great ambiance. If you understand all of the overdubbing he did. So, I mean, it is a tremendous amount of overdubbing for everybody out there to know what it is, because he has he has a he has one guitar, which he basically is nothing more. Ding. It's just like it's sounding the, you know, okay, she's a seductress in the movie. She seduces people. She, you know, everybody's seen her in her hot gold swimsuit. They're, we're giving the, we're going to give, the, the bikini are gives a history of why the swimsuit is so hot. Because, uh, you know, if you go to the story, you'll read it, but basically it has to do with the fact that from Jason the Argonauts, where they were hunting a golden fleece, no, it was a golden swimsuit, not a golden fleece. Mm -hmm. It's got to do with material that was made to make the golden fleece, death of people that had the material, a girl wearing a swimsuit, vanishing and coming back every Halloween, seducing not only the feet, she seduces the females, which, well, what's, what's abnormal in California about that? <laughs> And lots of wild, uninhibited dancing, leading people into the ocean to join her, and um, you know, surf music, lots of pretty girls. Not in this piece. You got to get to see this piece is strictly her. You know what? What amounts to it's a, it is a short synopsis of like how the thing got started. Just but no, no, no language. Just her. She's she's seen. She's not seen the written piece. I don't think. I don't think she has. But she's yeah. seen the video. I saw Glenn's of it. But, but mm -hmm. she's seen the video. And um, it's got multiple. We, we were lucky, which was ungodly timing. We had heavy fog. Mm -hmm. So we could we went out and shot in the heavy fog. And then, here's a good trick. We had to add more fog because it didn't show up well on the T3 camera. So we didn't realize you can't shoot fog with a 3D camera. So we had to add, we had to fix in fog, and then we got a lot of other neat little special effects for you. The picture, if you, if you get here. Actually, it's, it's pretty cool. You have yeah. to just see you it. You got to look at it and then see, you know, look at the different amount of effects that are being done. Listen to the soundtrack and you're, you're going to hear also, if you listen real carefully, you can pick out how, I think it was one, two, three, four, like about 14 tracks of sound there. 14 tracks. To make it look like it was, you know, like it wasn't a 1960s horror film, but um, it's gonna, you know, it will be available on um, on YouTube on the Bikinis Are, not Bikinis Are, but the Bikinis Are. It will be on that in. I see what it did. This, this will go up tonight, I think. So. Are you putting it up tonight? No, probably? no. This piece about what's being. Oh, done. okay. So it will probably be because it's actually it's a Halloween piece. The Halloween well, piece. It, it'll be up going. sometime in, towards the middle of next week. Yeah, for Halloween. So because I don't want because we're, we're, we've got a bit of a problem. I want longer pieces. I can't post as much as I used to. But it's also going to be it's going to be uh, you'll have on the bikinis are a 2D version only. But on the DM you're going to have a 2D version, an anaglyph 3D version, and a side-by-side -side 3D version, all together. So if you got a, something in there, you kind of want to see. So that would be on the DM. I don't know if you think it's funny, but no. But, uh, um, we know the BC fans on YouTube don't like the 3D stuff because they don't they don't want the glasses. But the people over there, 
like, you know, they like the stuff different, the pick and shoot, but it's a bit of an effort. We've already got all of them done. They're all got to be edited together into one longer piece so that you can get on together. And you think you should like it, but it's just this, it's, I mean, I spent, I spent, you know, I spent more years as she'd been alive doing effects for feature films and television shows. So, um, I mean, I've worked on some really big shows in my life. You know, I've been in front of the camera, behind the camera, so I can do effects. And just like I said, uh, I got a whole bunch of brand new toys to play with. Mm -hmm. And I've been using the brand new toys to play with. So, because that's my area. And you're going to get to see it. But it's a, it had taken basically a god awful month or something to do all the stuff that had to be done on it. Which for six minutes is not, you know, we tell, you know, they're talking about, well, you know, we spend, people are spending $500 on a film short, on a, on a weblog for the internet, and that's a lot of money. Well, we're going to figure processing time alone. I went through $500. Okay, I, I, I have to do this. I can't really do it right now, but how did a Democrat count to one? You know, you know, like that. You know, here, Democrat counts to one. Figure, I've done that about 3,000 times, and you'll know how much processing time we've been put into that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it is a very expensive, time consuming piece that we have done specifically for you to show you what we actually can do if we put our minds to it. So, um, we want you to drop by and see that the bikinis are in a straight 2D form on um, the bikinis are on YouTube and we want you to come by and see the 2D and the um, the, the 2D, the anaglyph and the side by side all together on the DM. Mm -hmm. And you know, there might even be another little piece of stuff. There might be an outtake over on it too. Yeah. Well, it is on the DM side. There is on the DM side. So at the tail end you might see outtakes. Which is basically, because this is, like I told you, a set in the 1960s and basically things didn't necessarily work right. And, no glasses! Because, as most people know, she, she, you know, she's under doctor's orders to not go outside oh. without sunglasses on. Well, part of it is it's, it's foggy. Yeah, so, so there's no need to wear. She didn't have to wear sunglasses, and she didn't have to have a hat on because she's got. I mean, it, it just look. Okay, you no, know, it's just. I mean, it, it's just a normal thing. My my youngest basically had a problem. She could not go out in a heat whatsoever, and she's sort of got the same sort of problem. She she has a pumpkin time of three total hours out in the sun, three, and then she starts to melt. And if the temperature goes too high for too long, that just starts going like this. So. Because um, you know, most people know she's got a severe eye problem, so that she has to wear wraparound glasses, sunglasses, which is, you know, these are transition. These should work, but we found out that that probably caused the problem, mm -hmm. <laughs> because she was using them for what they were supposed to be used for, and the optometrist said that was. Coming and you're going, what? How does that work? Well, because transitions turn into sunglasses. But what happens is, there's a reason why sunglasses are big. Yeah. They're big because they're supposed to protect the eyes from yeah. the rays coming in from yeah. all the different sides. But people don't think about the sides. Yeah. So and when you have transition lenses like these glasses that change, you don't realize that you need sunglasses because the lens change. Right? If you yeah. did have regular glasses, you'd be like, oh yeah, now it's time to put on the sunglasses. So they gradually change, which means you still have light that comes in on the sides. And it was the definitely. sides is where she got hit. The doctor told her she was eventually going to have to have well, she probably was. She was one of the early pioneers in LASIK eye surgery, mm -hmm. and basically, it's not as good as it was now. So what it did was it left her with a with problems. That basically, when when if you don't cover up this area with a wraparound thing, it helps to deteriorate her eyes. So she is not allowed to go out in the sun. The only time you'll ever see her outside without any glasses on is if there's a lot of fog in the area, or there's tremendous top cloud coverage. You know you want to see her out in the rain, that doesn't happen. So, you know, she will go out in the rain in Hawaii probably, maybe not in Florida, because mm -hmm. Florida's a little cooler, Hawaii, yes. But, um, um, so you get to see things. You're also going to get to see the gold swimsuit, which is basically the basis behind the thing, and a whole bunch of other bikinis are things, and other swimsuits that are very popular for you. You know, if you like the, if you like the, the dental floss bikini, you will get to see the, deep, the dental floss bikini in the movie. 
Really? What, what the bikinis that you most like, the Hey Baby, you know, um, you know. Prom, in it? Yeah. No, not in this one. 